Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. As some of you may know, I'm on my TTC or trying to conceive journey. In this video, I'm going to talk all about ovulation tests just like this, exactly how they work and how they allow you to get your big fat positive faster. Um, they're one of the best tools for predicting exactly when you're ovulating, which means that they're one of the best tools to let you know when your optimal fertile window is in your cycle. I'll let you know how to test, how these actually work, some of the downfalls, benefits, the particular tests that I recommend, and my personal experience with them. pull up my handy dandy whiteboard. I promise this won't be boring, but I do just think as I'm talking along through it, I'm going to draw this out a little bit. So basically to understand how these um, ovulation strips work, you do need to know a little bit about your cycle and when your fertile window is. So the average female has a 28 day cycle. You may have a little bit shorter or a little bit longer cycle, but for the purposes of our example, you're going to ovulate assuming you have the 28 day cycle about 14 days into your cycle so right in the middle and your cycle day one of your cycle is the first day of your last period so 14 days after that day is going to be about your ovulation day now if you have a really long cycle you can work backwards so say you had a 34 day cycle you're going to ovulate about 14 days before your next period so you'd be ovulating on day 20 of your cycle now what these strips do is they actually detect an LH surge, which you will get if you're ovulating, and that LH surge is going to happen about one to two days before you ovulate. So your fertile window is almost going to look like this sloped curve right here. Your optimal days for getting pregnant and conceiving and the days that you're going to want to plan to have sex are for sure on your ovulation day and the two days before ovulation. And you are going to use the ovulation test strips to determine when this three day window is. The test strip will show a positive when you have an LH surge, and that's going to be one to two days before your ovulation. Now, it is possible to get pregnant up to five days before ovulation, and it's just a little bit less likely. However, if you're really wanting to get pregnant fast, you're going to want to have sex for all of these days, which is why I recommend definitely a app that tracks your cycle so you have an idea of when this ovulation is going to occur so you can start testing and you can also start having sex up to five days before your ovulation might be coming. There's a really small chance that you could get pregnant on plus one the day after ovulation but with the egg only being viable for up to 24 hours it's a really low chance. So um, <clears throat> Let's talk a little bit about how to test what that positive will look like and then when to plan sex around that. So basically, the strips come in this little package. I love the Pregnate brand. It's 20 cents per strip as compared to a really popular brand, Clear Blue, that you can get at like Walmart. Those are $1.70 per kit. And we're gonna talk about how many you're gonna need per cycle, and it really does add up if you're getting those expensive kits that actually say, like the digital ones that say yes or no, or they have like a smiley face or a star if you get a positive result. So these are way cheaper. I highly recommend them. I'm going to link all of the resources from this video as well as links to um, this particular product in the description below. So basically the test strip you're going to use really similar to a pregnancy one. I highly recommend peeing in a cup because dipping these ones midstream, you might get some on the little window, the little test window, and you're not going to want to do that. So um, pee in the cup stick the um, stick in the cup, not past the max line, then you're gonna wanna lay it flat and you don't wanna read the results until five minutes later. 
So when I first started using these, I just assumed they worked the same as pregnancy tests and I was just reading them right away, oh, negative, and just like throwing them in the trash. And I did not get a positive the first two cycles I used these strips because I did not read the directions thoroughly. So definitely make sure to watch this video all the way through so you know exactly when to test and how to read the results. So um, read the results after five minutes the test is only considered positive. This is the test line up here in the control line. The test is only considered to be positive when the test line is as bold or bolder, um, or sorry, yeah, when the test line is as bold or bolder than the control line. So the control line is up here, the test line is down here, and the test line is telling you if you're having that LH surge, which is a hormone surge that always happens if you are actually ovulating and releasing an egg. So it will always happen if you are actually ovulating and releasing an egg. So if you get a positive result, I read on the Clear Blue site that it's a 99% accurate result that you are going to in fact ovulate within 24 to 48 hours, one to two days. It doesn't tell you exactly what day and some women may ovulate even sooner depending on when they catch that LH surge. So as soon as you do get your positive result, you're going to want to have sex that day and I would say up to three days after just to be sure. Now there is a possibility that you may not get a positive test throughout your cycle and there's a couple reasons why. It could be that you're not waiting to read the results, that you're not taking the test at the right time of day, or you may need to start testing multiple times a day. So um, Pregmate, this brand, recommends testing in the afternoon if you can or anytime after 10 a.m. in the morning. You're gonna wanna test at the same time every day so you don't miss the result. And also you may see that the test line starts to get a little bit darker as you get closer to that surge. So just keep track of what things are looking like um, as you get closer to that ovulation day. And if you miss um, a positive in your cycle, you may need to test multiple times a day and you may need to avoid drinking a ton of liquid even two hours before you take your test. So just keep those tips in mind. Um, the other thing is you're going to want to use like an app or even maybe keep notes on your phone of approximately how long your cycle is so you can get an idea when you're getting close to ovulation. You can also take a look at your cervical mucus. If it's not egg white, but it's starting to build up and get creamy and you're not as dry as you were right after your period, you're probably getting a little bit closer to ovulation. Now, as far as when you need to start testing your cycle, because you may not know exactly when you're ovulating and you don't want to miss that positive window. So um, Clear Blue and Pregmate both recommend, especially if it's your first time using the strips and you're not exactly sure, to start testing um, right after you end your period. So that's going to be about 10 days before you actually ovulate and that's because some women may ovulate earlier in their cycle they might just have a, a shorter cycle in general and you just don't want to miss that positive after you get more attuned to your cycle you may need to only start testing like five days before you're expecting ovulation for me, my cycle varies quite a bit from 34 to 44 days. So um, for me, I have to start testing about 10 days before and I also test two times a day. So that's 20 strips per cycle, which is why I love these strips because they're only 20 cents each versus those super expensive ones from Walmart. So I highly recommend these. Um, definitely be checking some of those other things like cervical mucus. Use an app. You can do your basal body temperature as well. It's nice to kind of have that confidence of multiple different methods to confirm that, yes, this is my fertile window. This is go time. So uh, if there's any other methods you use or if you're using multiple of the methods or have any questions so far, definitely leave them in the comments below. If you're liking this video, give it a thumbs up. I do a lot of videos on my personal trying to conceive journey and then once we do actually get pregnant, I'll be sure to poke it 
post all about that, um, you know, how my stomach's growing, how things are going with my relationship. Um, so definitely subscribe to my channel if that's something that you're interested in and want to just, you know, get someone that's fully exposing their journey. So aside from that, um, I really like this, these strips. I did just want to touch on some of the downfalls. So if you're someone that has PCOS, which is like ovarian cysts, then you are going to want to, um, probably use a different method and definitely talk to your doctor because people with PCOS, they can actually have spikes in LH, but not actually be ovulating or um, if you're not ovulating but you're having a period which is a possibility you will not get a positive result because you're only going to get that lh spike when your body actually releases an egg and you can have a period without releasing an egg and basically what that is it's a an anovulatory cycle where your body is building up that uterine lining anticipating an egg but the egg never actually gets released so you do get a period but you don't release an egg so that's a small percent of people but you know it definitely does happen and um, if you think that might be you definitely might want to check with a doctor and I found a really good article on clear blue site in regards to PCOS and um, how it relates to using the ovulation strips. So I hope you found this video useful. I know I was so confused about like how to use the strips. Um, my cycle, my fertility window, I feel like I was completely oblivious to all of this before trying to get pregnant. So it's just really interesting to see how it all works. And it seems really confusing with all of the days and things, but um, once you get it nailed down and kind of start knowing when you're ovulating, you'll feel more confident and more comfortable and you'll be super stoked when you get your positive result. So again, if you don't know your cycle, start using these about the day after you end your period so you can really catch that LH surge. Um, definitely test same time each day, preferably in the afternoon after not so many liquids. Um, if you can, multiple times a day, or if you feel like you're not catching that positive, you can up it to two times a day. And the LH surge will only happen for 12 to 24 hours. So it's a little window, you gotta catch it, you gotta be diligent. Um, for me, this is easier than doing the basal body temperature because I don't have to think about it right when I wake up, which is nice. I can kind of just do it when I get home from work and when I'm already kind of relaxing. So, um, like again, if you have any questions, definitely leave them in the comments below and we'll see you on the next video.